It was Sammy's big day. He had been looking forward to this day for weeks, and now it had finally arrived. He was about to start playing for the local youth soccer team. He had worked hard to earn his spot and was eager to prove himself on the field. As he got ready for the big game, he felt a mix of emotions, excitement, anticipation, and a bit of nervousness. He knew he was ready and he was determined to make the most of this opportunity. Today was the start of a new chapter for Sammy and he was ready to take it on. Sammy was feeling a little nervous as he walked into the locker room. He had heard so much about the team and was excited to meet them all. He was welcomed warmly by everyone and quickly felt at ease. He was surprised to find out that the team was made up of players from all over the world, each with their own unique story. He quickly started to get to know them and was inspired by their passion for the game. He could tell that it was going to be an unforgettable experience. The penalty kick is an important part of the game of soccer. It is a direct free kick taken from the penalty mark located yards from the goal line. The player taking the kick must remain stationary until the ball is kicked, and all players must remain outside the penalty area and at least yards away from the ball from the ball. Player taking the kick must attempt to score a goal, and the opposing team must not attempt to play the ball until it has been touched by another player, but not to play the player. The penalty kick can be the deciding factor in a close game and is a great way for a team to score a goal in a difficult situation. The final score is the ultimate measure of a soccer match. It is the result of a team's performance in all aspects of the game, including passing, shooting, defending, and strategy. A team's success or failure in the match is ultimately determined by the final score. The team with the most points at the end of the match is declared the winner. A draw can occur if both teams have the same number of points at the end of the match. Ultimately, the final score is the most important factor in determining the outcome of a match. Sammy was excited to get the gear he needed for the big match. He went to the store and tried on a variety of different helmets, gloves, and pads and pads on. He found the perfect set that fit him just right and was ready to go. After that, he bought a new sexer ball to practice with with that. With all of his gear in hand, Sammy was ready to take on the match and show off his skills. He was ready to prove himself and make his team proud. The big match was finally here. Sammy had been looking forward to this day for weeks and was feeling the pressure of the moment. He had worked hard to prepare, and now it was time to put it all to the test. As the whistle blew to start the match, Sammy's heart raced with anticipation. He felt a surge of energy and was ready to show what he could do. He was determined to give it his all and prove himself in the biggest game of his life. Previous chapter left off with the anticipation of an exciting game ahead. The stadium was full of energy and excitement as the players took their places on the field. The starting lineup for the day was a mix of veteran players and rookies, all eager to prove their worth their worth. As the team captains exchanged lineups, the crowd grew silent in anticipation. The anticipation was palpable 
as everyone waited for the referee to blow the whistle and the game to begin. With a loud whistle, the starting lineup was set and the game was ready to begin. The game began with a loud cheer from the crowd. Sammy took the field with the rest of his team, ready to take on their opponents. The players lined up, each one eager and determined to win the match. The referee blew the whistle and the game was underway. The players ran around the pitch, passing the ball and trying to score. The atmosphere was electric as the teams battled it out for the victory. In the end, it was a close match and both teams fought hard for the win. The crowd erupted in cheers as Sammy stepped onto the field. He felt the energy of the stadium and was determined to make the most of this moment. He was ready to take on the challenge of playing in front thousands of fans. He had trained hard for this moment and he was determined to make it count. He took a deep breath and prepared himself for the game ahead. With every stride, he felt the excitement of the crowd as they cheered him on. He was ready to take on the challenge and prove to everyone that he was the best. The final whistle blew, signaling the end of the game. Sammy had played an excellent game and his team had won. As the players on both teams shook hands and congratulated each other, Sammy felt a sense of accomplishment and pride. He had worked hard and given it his all, and the result had been a victory. The cheers of the crowd echoed in his ears as he walked off the field, feeling a sense of satisfaction and joy. He had done it, he had won the game. The referee's call echoed across the stadium, signaling the start of the game. Sammy felt the energy of the crowd and his teammates as they prepared to take the field. His heart raced as he readied himself to face the opposing team. He knew that it would take all of his skill and determination to win the match. And he looked around at the faces of his teammates, and the determination in their eyes told him that they were ready to take on the challenge. With a deep breath, Sammy stepped out onto the field, ready to take on the game. Refereeing a soccer match is a complex job that requires a deep understanding of the rules of the game. To effectively referee a match, it is essential to first learn the basics. This includes understanding the rules of the game, the different positions of players, and the different penalties that can be issued. It is also important to understand the different signals that referees use to communicate with players and coaches during the matches. Finally, referees need to be familiar with the different equipment that is used in a match, such as the socks or ball, the goalposts, and the flags. Once these basics are mastered, referees can move on to the more complex aspects of the game. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. We'll be bringing you more exciting stories and videos like this one. See you next time.